Hello everyone and welcome to 4 Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access where I have had enough with Jewel. Uh, we have brought three Kerbals back from Jewel. Uh, Jeb, who was supposed to have perished in the first episode anyway, has ultimately perished around Jewel, going down with uh, valiantly with the successful space plane as a matter of fact. We don't know exactly whether he went down at Lath or at Jewel, but anyway, that that's, that's how it is. Uh, it was a valiant, valiant end for... I mean, uh, Jeb sacrificed his life to save the other three Kerbals. Yeah, anyway, it's fine. Okay, so I don't want to do Jula anymore for a little bit, but we have a lot of places to choose from. Uh, launch a vessel with at least four wheels is amusing, uh, but uh, there's 200 tons on Minmus. I don't know exactly how that works, and 300 tons on Duna. Uh, there's land on Eve. We're not going to do that. that. That'll be the final thing final thing obviously landing on Eve and bringing them it's actually the only thing that asks you to bring them back to Kerbin uh, so then there's the impact site on Gilly there's the Moho on Moho well we haven't been to Moho the two places we haven't really been to are Moho we flew by Elu uh, Moho and Drez now this can be done with a probe and we haven't done probe things and maybe I should try out the bloody ion engines so how about this? Uh, well, would an ion engine be able to land on Moho? No, but we can transfer it using the ion engine. So I think we should try that and test the ion engines to see how they work in time warp and when they don't work on time warp and try to come up with some answer for when does it work in time warp uh, with the time warp being uh, allowing the engine thrust to provide delta V instead of just pretending to provide delta V and when does that not work but maybe we will get an answer to that maybe we won't so all right Moho so Moho has to be in front of Kerbin by 108 degrees if I recall correctly but just in case I'm wrong let me double check yeah 108 degrees so Normally, and actually technically it's negative 252 because Moho is going much, much faster. Normally the uh, planet like Eve, which is going faster, actually it is a, close to a pretty good Eve window. Uh, normally they have to be a little bit behind, not ahead, but Moho has, to be, Moho has to be so far behind that it's effectively ahead. So, we just, uh, but we're a little bit late right now. We'll have to wait a whole orbit of Moho. For it to get to 108 degrees. This is more like 120. Maybe 120 is alright. I don't want to wait. So uh, we'll try and force it with the ion engines and see. Maybe we can get a Eve flyby to Moloch. <laughs> That's too much. Anyway, we'll see. Maybe the sheer delta V that we can get from ion engines will make it work out. So we'll have a little remote guidance unit. Uh, we will have... we need an antenna. That's not extra small. <laughs> um, this works from Jewel. I guess we can try and surface mount it like that. 870. And then we're looking at 10,000 total. So this has enough. This has uh, 330 seconds of ISP. So... I mean, the RCS ports have 240. I think we can just use the RCS ports, right? Okay, and then solar panels, obviously. We're going closer to the sun. They'll be more effective. No doubt that we're going with these. And we need some science. Well, this, this science junior junior is only 0.05, so that's not too bad. But then, what's her delta V now? <laughs> hmm... Uh oh. Oh, it's only radial touch. Great. That's inconvenient. Hmm. That's 0 0.05 tons. This is 0 0.05 tons. All right, fine. But our poor RCS boards. I guess we only need two, maybe. They have one kilonewton apiece. That was a two kilonewton ant. So it stands to reason. We really don't need them for control. The little core does have a tiny, tiny reaction wheel. 
Is this really, really balanced? It actually seems a little bit further to this side. That's because the center of mass of this is probably in it, while this is on that plane. So we're going to tuck this in a bit. I like how the center of mass bubble is encompassing the entire thing. Okay, so... I don't know how much delta V this has. Alright, so that's our probe that will land on Moho. It carries the Science Junior and everything. And now, the Ion stage. Uh, 30,000? <laughs> Actually, a thrust weight ratio of 0.02 doesn't sound that bad, does it? But we'll need power. How much power does this need? 10 per second. We don't even have the big solar panels yet. Okay, well we have some science, hold on. Moho probe. We have to land in the Moho too, we have to remember that. It's just not any old place on Moho. Enlarged power systems, alright, well... Point one six for 12 per second. Well, that's overdoing it. Maybe those circular ones are okay. How heavy are they? Because we're getting closer to the sun anyway. 0.047. So two of them would be, like, say, let's just say 0.1. And that's less than this, and we'll end up having to put two of these. So maybe we don't need to unlock that just yet. We don't need them to retract. So actually that's even lighter. Well, that hasn't hurt our Delta V with the Ion unit much. Somebody had said that when you use symmetry, it multiplies the Delta V. I haven't seen that and it definitely doesn't do it in this case. Um, is it worth having 0.04 thrust weight ratio? I mean, we don't need 30,000 meters per second of Delta V. So as long as they don't blow up, but then we'd need more solar panels, but we could do that too. It still has a lot of Delta. I'm trying to decrease the amount of Delta V it has. Um, tell you what, let's put another reaction wheel on here. I mean, keeps having Delta V, what can I do? Um, maybe we should have some other science side? <laughs> Uh, we don't have enough science. We've got the science junior up there anyway. Atmosphere isn't gonna have anything, so we don't have any science to put on. I'm trying to decrease it constructively. Make use of it, not during the mission, but by adding more payload. I mean, we could unlock the bigger panels and then add even more engines, but ultimately we're squishing quite a few engines. We would be squishing quite a few engines here. Um, let's just try this one. Well, this doesn't need a big rocket. Two tons. It's two tons altogether. I feel like a skipper could make this an SSTO. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, why, why don't we have just a skipper SSTO? Can we have a skipper SSTO that will come back? But what's the heat tolerance of the skipper? Thousand? No, I don't. We we need a heat shield probably, so we can't do that. All the all the stages that we used to bring back effortlessly, oops, in KSP one, I don't think we can bring them back effortlessly here. Four thousand with one point two eight will do the trick. We are not quite at the window, so we'll have to come. Oh, we don't have enough power f as far as the batteries are concerned. So, well, adding batteries is going to hurt the delta V of that little lander, but I guess we have to. Let's put those two. Okay, so for this, we probably want more battery, too. The mob propellant is necessary in this case because we are landing with it. All right, so let's go.
Operation Moho. Uh oh, maybe I wanted fins though. It's wiggling a bit. We've got four science of worth of atmospheric samples apparently. Oh, moon's up there. It's threatening to eclipse the sun. I haven't actually seen an eclipse in KSP2. Huh. Just realized that. I haven't really paid attention to it, but I haven't really seen the moon eclipsing the sun in KSP2. Let's hold off. We can dump the fairing. Um. So, like, why can't I extend the... Uh oh Well, first of all... Retracted. Can't retract. Yeah, but why, why, why can't I use that button to extend them? Huh. Is that controlled by the SAS level? I mean, why couldn't I use that to extend them? Well, I guess we'll use the remaining Delta V for the initial part. Okay, those dots are pretty close together. And ignition. Ah, uh, what is it doing? Guys. <laughs> oh, I really believe this Delta V bar right now. I think, uh, well, we're actually depleting electric charge. Let me... Okay, um, hold on. Is there any way for us to tell that it's actually giving us our ion engine thrust? Because the orbital speed is going to go down no matter what, right? I guess the apoapsis. The apoapsis not changing during time warp means that it's not doing it. So the delta V is changing, so it's consuming the xenon, but it's not changing our orbit at all. Um, we could wait two hours. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try turning it down and turning it on again. Turn it off and turn it on again, how about that? Okay, first this way. No. Then actually shutting them down. And let's try the one engine because that can operate at full power with our solar panel. Nope. Higher. Nope. Yeah, well, we've done the one engine option. Okay. Now we go to the tracking station and come back to it. Actually, let me go Space Center. Because actually when you go to the tracking station, I think you're still with the craft. I think it's basically a map overlay. And it's fooling us. So it won't reset things necessarily. Okay, so full thrust. Time warp? No. Not working. Okay. Save and reload. But it's. So I don't think we can get to the bottom of this because it started to do it right away. In other words, it didn't start working and then stop working, which was what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, that's peculiar. That's not where our node is supposed to be. Our node is supposed to be prograde. <laughs> hmm. It is supposed to be a direct prograde burn, by the way, so the fact that it has any radial at all means that it misplotted it. Now it's saying stop burning a day, too, so we, we know we can get rid of that. So, uh, other test. What if... Oh, it's actually losing power right now, too. Um, is there any rotation that could allow me to get... 
power throughout this. There we go. Okay, so what if it's the maneuver node that causes it to not be able to apply thrust during time warp? Let's find out. Nope. And we can sustain full power here. Okay, so the ion engine strategy doesn't work. Run environment survey. Oh, it looks like it can transmit that. We got some science out of it one way or another, but we will launch a non-ion version of this. A better version. Or maybe I should just have so many ion engines that it'll be short. <laughs> Vanilla. Hmm. Hmm. Will it actually allow me to go back to the Space Center? Well, well I don't know. Um, maybe it'll actually keep applying thrust while we're not paying attention to it. I mean, we could have, like, we need eight times the engines and solar panels. It could be done, but it'd still be a 15-minute burn. Well, no. Let's not do that. Okay, so we're going to uh, set that aside since we can't time warp through those burns. And we'll still have the little reaction wheel, and probably the battery would be good. Nuclear? <laughs> um, or do we just use a spark? Or something? Do we go really, really basic? Oh, wait, do we go hydrogen? 1.22 is still not taking full advantage of it. Maybe just a huge nerve stack and then boosters? And then a little lander. So, if we wanted an optimal nerve stage, we'd probably want 9,000 meters per second. So, let's just... That burn time, though. But, the thing is, with some of the other engines, I've been able to actually time warp while using the Delta V. So, 9,000. And then Trip Planner, because we're going to blame Trip Planner for all this. Um says 10,000. So anyway, we're gonna obviously have a whole launch booster thing. Let's see, Clydesdales? We could have two Clydesdales. They have some control. One degree. And they only sort of fit. Lots of thrust weight ratio though. Well, actually more than enough for orbit. Which might be a problem. Let's put fins. <laughs> uh, I don't think they have enough control otherwise. Poor little nerve looking so puny in the midst of this. A lot of Delta V is involved. We don't need it going that fast. Or our little fins are not going to be able to hold it. Okay, well, Moho Probe 2. Well, at least there's no Kerbal on board. Okay. So, I should have probably waited until we're in the right position so that their Delta V would help. That would be fancier. Since we can't turn them off, I mean. Yes, the nerve would be very expensive, but the boosters would be cheap. The plumes in KSP2 are pretty good. Okay, that's getting a little bit high. Alright, well, maybe that was in the right direction, maybe not. Oop, a little bit of a bump there. We might as well dump the fairing as well. But we don't have all the ion engine... Uh-oh. We don't have all the ion engine... It was when they released the fairing. Maybe as long as you keep the fairing on, they don't... Okay, we have problems. Uh, we don't have all the... We don't have all the solar panels on the ion engine stage. We only have the two on top. But I see that that's not the problem that we need to worry about. 